What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's had a great day. Well, today we're going to bedliner the inside of my 95 for Lightning. For all those who are not familiar with my truck, uh, this build has been coming along really, really good. Uh, i got the truck right here. I bought this truck originally about a few months ago back in Austin and I drove it back uh, and I had, which is normally a two or three hour drive, turned into a five hour drive because I had a lot of mechanical issues. Uh, the transmission started going out on it and it started leaking transmission on the way back, which I got lucky and then I actually made it home. That's when the build began. I ended up um, fixing the transmission, getting the transmission rebuilt. And once I got it back from the transmission guy, I went ahead and lowered the truck uh, with DGM's 3-4 drop. And while I was at it, I went ahead and replaced the front suspension, all the, all the suspension components in the front, ball joints, and end links, and all that. Uh, so the whole front end is redone. Then I got the truck back, and I got the wheels and tires installed. It's looking really, really good. But the bed is where it needs help. Uh, as you can tell, the bed is beat up. It's worn out. It's it doesn't fit the truck at all. But the truck it looks really, really nice. It's really clean. And then you look inside the bed. It's like wow, that is ugly. So right over here on the bench is what I have. I ordered this Raptor bedliner kit. Um, this kit I got it off Amazon. It was like a hundred and Fifteen dollars, hundred twenty dollars, something like that. Really good deal because I went and got prices for a professional bedliner install, and they're charging anywhere from six hundred to eight hundred dollars to get a bedliner, professional bedliner installed in this truck. And I figured, you know what? Let me go ahead and order this kit off Amazon because it got really, really good reviews, and I know I can do it myself. So I'm gonna save myself some money and the benefit of doing it myself. So this is what you guys get in the kit when you order this kit. You get four containers of the liner, the harner, a mixing cup, and this gun here, the sprayer. Okay, but one thing I do recommend you guys getting and picking up is one of these little regulators to hook up to the gun, which I'm gonna do here in a little bit. And I also picked up some acetone and some plastic liner. But right now, what we need to do before any of this happens is the fun part, and that is prepping. We need to take this cover out of here. Uh, we need to sand the bed see i started sanding a little bit down there on the corner um but before all that happens i want to get these dents out of the wheel well here because i want this to be nice and round so i'm going to go underneath here and hit it with a hammer and try to get this as nice and round as possible so it looks really good Alright, so that actually worked pretty well. I took uh, the dents out pretty good. Uh, now we've got to sand it down. Let's get our sander. And I'm going to go with these uh, 220 grit uh, sanding pads because my, my bed is not that new. It's worn out. It does not very much um paint and clear on there so it's not going to take very much to get get it prepped um it may take a little bit more on the tailgate because it's got a little bit more uh clear but the rest of the bed looks pretty dull as it is uh, so yeah let's just get sanded Places that the standard can't reach, I just put a wire wheel on a drill and I'm just hitting those spots. Now we got everything scuffed up that we needed to scuff up. Now we go need to go ahead and wipe it down with some acetone. So I need to come over here and mix some of this acetone into a spray bottle and then wipe it down with the terra cloth towels. Everything down. Wipe it down. Make sure we get all the dust off of there. Sorry guys, I closed the garage because it was a little too windy and it was making the, uh, taping up the exterior of the truck a little bit harder than it should be. It was just blowing this wrap everywhere. So I got the garage closed for now until I can get this covered up 
and tape down and then I'll open up the garage a little bit and get ready to spray. Um, but right now I just wanna make sure I'm covering up all the exterior. I don't wanna get any of this uh, bed liner stuff on the truck at all. So I got it all covered up and I'm about to mix some of the the liner here. Uh, no, the measuring cup says to use it to mix the harder all the way to the line and just pour it in here, shake it up really well and then go ahead and connect it to your gun. And we'll hook up our air. I got the, uh, the gun set up at 60 PSI. Get the harder ready. Pop this up. Okay. And I got my respirator here guys. You're gonna wanna use a respirator because this stuff is just super, super strong. Um, I'm gonna get my gloves. I need some gloves. We're gonna fill this all the way to the line. There we go. Pour this all in there. All right. Put the cap on. I wanna shake it for at least two minutes. We can go ahead and hook our air. Set at set at sixty. Open this back up. Nice and tight. Okay. Wow, I got the truck pulled out on the driveway. I'm about to show you guys the results. You guys are gonna be really impressed with this. I know I am. guys well wow, I'm impressed I hope you guys are impressed as well this thing turned out phenomenal I can't believe how good it actually looks not only does it look really good but it feels really nice it's a nice hard finish it's not like a soft or rubberized finish it's a nice hard finish and it just feels really really good um, if I can give you guys a bit of advice when you're spraying this I would not focus too much on getting it thick on the sides of the bed because you know that doesn't get abused and used as much as the floor so I would really focus more on giving uh, the floor as much of the product as possible and laying it on super thick. If you're going to be using the bed a lot, like if you're a landscaper, or if you're going to have a lot of loads in and out of the bed, I definitely recommend maybe even buying two kits and then laying it on super thick on the floor and on the side to give you a better long lasting finish. Overall guys, it's a really, really nice finish. I can't believe how good it looks. I'm going to list all the products in the links in the description below on where you can get yours as well. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.